Today I'll be talking about a battery upgrade for new scooters. Not only does this battery upgrade increase the range of your new scooter, but it can also increase the acceleration and top speed if you combine this with our motherboards. As an example, I drove 60 kilometers on my new scooter yesterday and it only required around 45% with this battery. The battery in question for my scooter is a 53 ampere battery which has a range of 120 kilometers. The scooter I have is just a regular UQI Plus. When you receive our battery, all you have to do is just simply plug it in as the size is completely identical to the original scooter battery. So the scooter says 93% and if you look at the battery, it also shows 93 So it's interesting, you can see that if just the scooter is on by itself, it uses 0.3 amps for just the lights and stuff. At the first instance, you'll notice the outer casing is a lot different. This one is a bit harder, whereas this one is a bit softer. Also, the foliage will also be shown. So let's say the battery gets colder, the foliage is gonna be less. So that explains, for example, why does your scooter output decrease when it's lower battery or when it's colder? So here you can see exactly the amount of power the battery is going to give you. There's an amp meter. You're probably not going to be able to see it because unless you're driving, the amp meter is not going to move. Well, so how can you determine what's the range going to be on your scooter? Maybe you have like a 25 kilometers an hour scooter or you have a 45 or you have a motherboard up, uh, upgrade, right? So when you take a look at the battery, this battery is 48 volts and 20 ampere. With this battery, I get around 40 kilometers of range. And this battery is 53 ampere. So it's almost twice as big, two and a half times as big. So you should just take the range, let's say this is 40, you multiply by two and a half. Another question you might have is, okay, I don't want to upgrade the motherboard, I just want more range. You can just keep the original motherboard and just put this battery in. Because the way your motherboard works is that it gives you a specific amount of ampere it's gonna regulate. If you put a larger battery, it's still gonna use 20 ampere. Because the ampere size is significantly bigger, with the original battery charger, it's probably going to take around 10 plus hours to charge if you're charging from zero. So that's why we also have a quick charger. With quick charger, it's 8 ampere, so it's going to charge twice as fast. With this charger, the charger doesn't really get that hot, and it's because it has a built-in fan function. So once you're charging, it will cool itself using the fan. If you are interested in any of the batteries, you can just visit our website at eschoolparts.com and if you don't see your battery on the website, just send a message and I will help you find the right battery for your scooter. We are able to ship the batteries worldwide and it should take around 1-3 to three weeks to arrive.